have a look at calibrating your scanner. For this, you'll need the prime scan calibration tool that comes with your machine, and of course, the actual scanner. Uh, on my prime scan, I'm running a number of different software options, but today we're going to use the latest version of the normal Serec, the 5.2. You start it up as usual, and you get to the familiar start screen. Go to the service menus at the top, and select configuration. This is where you know you can do your settings and parameters and also importantly we go to devices. On here you'll see a list of all the devices that are currently switched on and present on my system. So I've got a couple of milling units, Speedfire and importantly this Prime Scan. So we go into Prime Scan settings. It will open up the menu where you can change the volume and the sounds for your normal scanning. What we'll do today is to move straight on to the calibration tool that sits at the bottom of the screen here. Uh, it is important to do calibration on a regular basis. Uh, there are moving parts within the scanner head, so uh, if you don't calibrate regularly, your scanning experience won't be quite as smooth and straightforward as it should be. What the machine will do automatically is to start with warming up the scanner. Just like if you're going to scan a normal patient, you want the scanner to be ready for it, so it takes a few moments for that to warm up. We'll also see the image here, where it's just filming straight into the holder really, but well, that's a good time to check also that you haven't got any dust or specks or marks in there. You will need the calibration tool that comes with your scanner, and on here it's got a part that moves and a cover. So we take the cover off and it will tell you how to do this. Make sure it's fully screwed down, and then we just put the scanner firmly into the base of it. Now you will see a projection of the pattern and it will ask you to just start this. If you say OK to that, and now it's capturing that image. And then we unscrew the base of the calibration set, just one step, click like so. It will do this 18 times, so it takes a little while to go through it, but it's actually a fairly quick procedure. It will just tell you, unscrew the base, capture image, unscrew the base. We can keep doing this until we got right to the end of the 18 uh, scans in the list. Every time it does this, it captures the pattern in the test screen and then it lines everything up automatically. Capturing, unscrewing, capturing. So you see this is actually quite a quick procedure. Normally one of my nurses does this on a very regular basis, so we don't have to worry about it. But it is something that can be overlooked, because it doesn't prompt you to do this all the time. 